Well, let's talk about Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey 2. So the film is about not wanting to live in the shadows any longer. Winnie the Pooh, Tigger, Piglet, and Owl take the fight to the town. And they cause a lot of death and destruction. And with this film, it is more like a soft reboot. Similar to how Evil Dead 2 was. As it retconned some of the stuff in the first film. Which, it did that in a pretty interesting way. And with how this film was, I have to admit, it was actually pretty good. Not great. But it was entertaining enough that it made it much better than the first film. As with this film, it has all new actors. And it kind of explains that if you're watching the film. Which that was pretty interesting on how it did that. As with this film, you can tell that it takes inspiration from Terrifier 2. Where it has a budget to do a lot more stuff. As we see a lot more gore. And with this, it actually has a narrative. As we see Christopher Robin dealing with the events of the last film. And I can't lie, what they did with Christopher Robin in this film was pretty interesting. Like with this film, there was just stuff that was just more interesting. Story parts that were more interesting. And a lot of pretty brutal deaths. And how the prosthetics looked for the most part in this film was a huge upgrade and looked pretty good. Especially on Owl. He looked pretty creepy. And also with this film, we do get a backstory that is pretty interesting. Like with this film, it is pretty cliche. It is one of those that isn't the best. But compared to the first one, it's pretty good. It is a huge improvement. Which actually caught me by surprise. As I can't lie, I was interested in what was going on. With the backstory, the lore. And even the setup for the other characters in this universe that they're doing. With Peter Pan, Pinocchio. Which makes me interested in seeing the universe that they're trying to build off this. Overall, Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey 2 caught me by surprise. Sir, it is not great, but yet it is a dumb, fun slasher film. That is a huge improvement to the first one. But have you seen this? If so, what are your thoughts on it? Let me know in the comments below and follow me for more.